Right, we're going to talk um, in this section about uh, getting your first sound, getting your noise out of this thing. We've put the reed on, we've got um, our mouthpiece onto the, onto the neck or the crook there, the reed place, the ligature. Uh, you notice here that I'm using a, a, a metal mouthpiece here with a, with a fabric wrap. Uh, that's my preferred choice. But uh, it may well be that you are using something that's looking like this, which is your metal ligature with the mouthpiece. Okay. Now, the first thing that um, that people talk to you about when you're when you're going to play the saxophone, the first common misconception, of course, is that they they will often say to you, "Wow, you're going to need a lot of puff to play one of those." Well, let's try and allay that. Uh, that, that particular fear. The only place that the saxophone has entry for air is here, down this little gap between the mouthpiece and the reed. It's a little gap on the top there. It's the only place that we're going to be able to get air into the instrument. We haven't got some great big funnel that can put it in there. That's the only place it comes in. So actually, it's not about how much puff or how much air that we've got in our body that we can push down the instrument, it's about how we get it in there. And we need to channel that in a, in a specific way, okay? Now, first of all, mouth position. We want to be thinking about our bottom lip, and our bottom lip is going to come about a third of the way along this reed, so that you can kind of do that with it. You can move the move the reed around there, okay, with that with that bottom lip, okay? If you come too far up here, like that, you're not going to be able to bend the reed. If you come too far on the end, you're not going to be able to close it sufficiently. So about two thirds of the way up, that's your bottom lip. And we're slightly tucking the bottom lip over the top of the teeth there, that kind of thing, okay? So then the mouthpiece is going to come in, and rest just there. Our teeth then are going to come down and again probably about sort of two thirds of the way along the mouthpiece. Depends upon your bite. All, all saxophone players, we've all got different shaped mouths so this could be slightly different from player to player. It's what works best for you but what we're after is to, is to get the right kind of sound. So your teeth come down here, bottom lip in there. Okay. And that's the kind of optimum position for it. Now what we want to try and do first of all is see whether we can get that here. And we want to see whether we can just blow, without blowing a note, but just feel some air onto our hand here. Here we go. You notice I've just closed my mouth in, both sides there. Okay, so that it's nice and tight in there, I'm not losing too much air out the side, and I'm channeling the air just gently down this small gap here, okay? And you can feel it blowing on your hand. Now the next thing we want to try and do then is to obviously get a sound. So we want to try and produce this sound by using our tongue to almost flick against the tip of the reed here. And we do that literally by saying the word ta, ta. That movement of your tongue, when, you, when you're saying that, ta, 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 your tongue is coming forward. That's exactly what we want you to do. That's exactly the movement of your tongue to just touch onto the tip of the mouthpiece here, the tip of the reed, and for us to be able to produce this noise. So we're going to blow just a fraction harder and make sure that we're closing at the mouth and you can hear the noise come out here. You can hear the tongue producing that sound. Ta, 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 ta. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just literally talking it into here. Okay, so you want to try and experiment around with getting this sound. Um, 
making sure that you've got uh, your lips and everything in the, in the right position, your teeth in the right position. If you move, as I said to you, just further up the mouthpiece, you're going to get a slightly different kind of sound. It's harsh, it's raucous, it's not the sound that you're going to be after. You want that nice mellow sound. If you're right at the tip of the saxophone, it's going to be very windy, it's going to be very weak, it's not going to sound great. Two thirds of the way along, there you go. Okay, and that will give you the sound. Now, of course, watching things like this uh, are going to be quite in, invaluable for you. They're going to give you tips, but there is nothing that is going to replace, uh, and, and certainly this whole set of videos here is not designed to replace you going along to your teacher, you going along and watching professional players that are going to be playing near to you, you going and watching the great players play, okay? You need to garner all the information from the various different sources. Uh, but certainly this will give you an idea of how you get started. There are plenty of um, tutorial books out there which are fantastic, which will show you all the diagrams, um, which will aid you. But there is nothing quite like going and grabbing a couple of lessons from your, from your local saxophone guru, whoever that may be, wherever you live, um, and actually going and seeing this done in the flesh uh, and it will give you an idea. But that is how you would produce your first sounds on the, on the saxophone. And then finally what we do is we put it together here and it comes on just there and we're actually then ready to make our first sounds.